greater the obstacle, greater is going to be the glory or the success. So today in this video, I'll be talking about the self-made Indian billionaire entrepreneur who is making massive changes and drastic changes in our country as well as throughout the world. Today, I'll be talking about the success story of Dr. Kiran Mazundar Shah. What are the challenges that she faced and how she overcame all these challenges? So come along with me and let's discuss about this amazing story for all of you. Dr. Kiran Mazundar Shah is India's richest self-made business woman. Yes. So who is she? She is the managing director and the chairman of Biocon India located at Bangalore. So let's talk about what made her to launch this Biocon industry or Biocon India and how she faced the challenges and how she overcome in this video. So the most important passion that she had is to provide an affordable and accessible medicine which she became the pioneer in bringing about these changes. So first let's talk about a complete detail of Dr. Kiran Mazundar Shah, where she was born. Let's talk about, she was born in actually 1953, March 23 in Pune, Maharashtra in a Gujaratri family. And she started this company very specifically in 1978, which she became the chairman and the managing director. After that, we have to talk about the history, how it starts. She's the daughter of a brewer, who is actually working in an Indian-based United Breweries. So she wanted to follow the footsteps of the father. So she did her bachelor's in zoology in Bangalore University in 1973. Later, she wanted to do something that's related to the profession that the father does. So she went and studied her master's in brewing in the University of Ballarat in Melbourne. So this is in 1975. But when she came back to India, she was looking for a job in brewing industry. But there were times uh, in India that they were not recruiting an Indian woman to come into a brewing industry and work over there. So she had no other option but to join into a consultancy agency and she worked over there. But later an amazing thing that happened in her life. So let's keep it as such and let's talk about what are the awards that she received and what are the fa challenges that she faced. Now we are seeing how she has become so famous. Is there any dark side that she went through and now she has become this far? So these are some of the awards that she received uh, during this period. You can see Batma Shri, she has got Batma Bhushan, the most prestigious award and EY World Entrepreneur of the Year in 2022, amazing award and recipient of Order of Australia. Yes, ICMR's Lifetime Achievement Award and AWSM Award for Excellence in 2017 and Knight of the National Order of the French Region of Honor and Othmer Gold Medal Award, recipient of Global Economy Prize for Business in 2014, which means she has received a lot of award, but what made her to receive this many award? What made her to become this famous, or we can say, a many example to many individuals who are watching out this video. She also received many, many honorary doctorates. You are gonna see a list of university which has provide her, provided her with a doctorate degree. But I'm gonna tell you, when she started studying her bachelor's, she joined as a undergraduate student in zoology in University of Bangalore. But she was not able to get into a medical college, which means, how she got this doctoral degree. Yes, it's because of hard work and it's because of the smart work that she carried. So we are talking about the success. Now let's see what are the challenges and what are the changing points that happened in her life. So Dr. Kiran Mazunda's uh, story starts like this. She completed a bachelor's and her master's in Melbourne in brewing department and she's the only woman who actually graduated from there following the footpath of the father and coming back to India she's facing one problem. She's not getting a job in the brewing industry. That time one changing point happened in her life. Yes, this is Mr. Leslie Auchincloss. He's actually running an Irish firm company which is Biocon Biochemicals, yes. So this is actually an Irish firm and she was meeting this person who is going to make changes in her life. 
So when this biocon is launched by seeing Dr. Kiran Mazundash enthusiasm and the dedication towards the medical field or towards this brewing industry he found to take her as a partner and that's where her journey as a business woman starts so she's been hired as a partner along with Leslie Auchincloss which is going to be biocon biochemicals in Ireland and when she when the new venture started it started in 1978 so based on her achievements and based on her passions towards this brewing industry she launched biocon india in 1978 and they started producing a lot of enzymes so produced enzymes for alcoholic beverages yes initially biocon was started as a uh, fermentation or brewing industry or manufacturing enzyme manufacturing company only and they started paper and there were times that biocon has become the first indian company to export all these enzymes to us and europe that was a massive success that biocon has done initially starting as a brewing industry but there was also going to be a pitfall right yes so she even faced some challenges so i'm going to talk about this is going to be the success story that was happening initially but later at a point of time she is going through a challenge which is going to be the Auchan clause was telling that he was not interested in Biocon India and he wanted to sell its shares to Unilever. So now what exactly happens another company comes into existence which is Imperial Chemical Industry got the shares from the Unilever and they share the shares to the husband who is going to be the Kiran Mazunda's husband John Shah who is the director or the managing ones of another textile company and now this biocon actually get all the shares which they have lost which is going to be the challenge that she was facing even after launching a biocon now let's talk about what are the challenges that she went through we were talking about uh, many wonderful things and awards and honorary doctorate but she also went through we always believe that a successful people always go only to a successful path but they went through a lot of challenges which are hidden so if you are a viewer who are thinking that you were not able to be as successful as good enough then watch out this you will be inspired because the challenges that she faced and how she overcame and become india's number one entrepreneur the richest one and the self made entrepreneur because she is the first woman in her family to become an entrepreneur so let's talk about the first important thing i would like to make you to think that did you know that she couldn't even get into a medical college because she didn't get a scholarship so she wanted to become a doctor she wanted to go into a medical college but she wasn't able to go that's the reason why she went into a undergraduate degree pursuing her zoology in university of Bang bangalore so she wasn't able to do so but she didn't take it to her heart it was frustrating at the moment but later she is making magic the next did you know she was refused a job as i already mentioned after coming from melbourne she came to india but nobody were willing to give her a job just because brewing industry were surrounded by a lot of male candidates who are actually over there so they were not ready enough to give a position to a woman who has studied in brewing industries the next she started with a seed capsule of rupees 10000 when she started this biocon or initially when she started she started with a mechanic so the initial capital was only rupees 10000 and later you can see she faced lot of responsibility challenges yes every woman has to go through every man has to go through she also faced some responsibility challenges and she has been considered initially as an untested business model now people started praising but there were times that she was considered as an untested business model and she was not able to secure funding for her own company that moment and later she got one so and then she started uh, getting all those things and there were times there were poor infrastructure for the company where she has to go through that situation also later she faced lot of skepticism and discrimination yes being a woman there were times that when she was about to hire employees nobody were able to get into that company just because they want a male candidate or a male manager over there so nobody were ready to work with her or to do any sort of shares with her so difficult to find employees in india when she was about to start this biocon industry there were times that 
nobody were ready to come and work over there as an employee because they were expecting that male dominations or the male community to be over there at that moment. So investors and vendors refused to do business with her. Of course, inventors and vendors are very, very important. When she was starting a business, they were not able to carry out any kind of process with her, but they refused to work with her and many more in her business initiative. Initially, she went through a lot of problems, went through a lot of challenges, but later how this biocon became a massive Asia's biopharmaceutical and biotechnology company, which is taking the entire world market. If you're going to see the complete worth, net worth of Kiran Mazunda, we are calling now 2,700 crores US dollars 2022, according to Forbes. But how this has happened? She went through these many challenges. How she faced all these challenges? Biocon manufactured enzymes and exported them to US and Europe, yes. So at that time, they started manufacturing. Initially, it was only a brewing industry or we can say enzyme manufacturing company. And when she started and when she produced the enzymes and manufactured it to US and Europe, that's the incident which made her never look back again. So whatever skepticisms or discrimination she's been going through, she never looked back. This is a one of the important thing that everybody has to take into consideration. It's a greater motivation for everybody. Never look back even though there's discriminations or even though there's skepticism, even though there's negative thoughts, she never looked back. She just went forward and she started her career and she was proceeding on to the path which is before her, not turning back, which has been set behind. And that's where a normal brewing industry or the enzyme producing company has now evolved into a spearheaded biocon pharmaceutical companies with two Almost we can say Syngene and Clingene together and now we are calling it Syngene and Biocon industry. So this is where the success actually happens. Even though she went through a lot of challenges, the one thing that she put it in her mind is never look back to the discrimination and skepticism that's been going on. Suppose if you are a viewer who are thinking out that I, I'm not able to and do any thought of things and I'm not able to succeed in my life. Yes, take this point, never turn back to the discrimination, never turn back to the uh, negative thoughts and look forward and never look backward. That's the word that we have to take from Dr. Kiran Mazundar Shah. Now let's talk about how the success journey of Biocon is. Now we are considering Biocon is going to be forayed into the lucrative US market. Now Indians, we have come into existence taking up the US market. So Biocon has served as a major role in it and it's considered as the Asia's largest insulin factory. Just imagine it started with an brewing or we can say enzyme manufacturing company and now they started producing accessible medicines to the entire world community. So Asia's largest industry factory in Malaysia's Johor region. And in 2001, you can see Biocon became the first Indian company to gain the approval of US Food and Drug Safety, FDA, for the manufacture of cholesterol lowering molecule. Yes. So now they have existed as a biopharma biotechnology company, which we know now. But there was a lot of challenges that she went through and it has come into a greater thing. In February 2022, you can see now Biocon Biologists inked a deal to acquire biosimilars business of Viatris for almost 3.3 billion US dollars. So this is the success story of Dr. Kiran Mazundar Shah and how she launched this biocon industry or the biocon company starting from an enzyme manufacturing company into this one. So the final note from Dr. Kiran Mazundar everybody has to take is never look back to the negative things or to the skepticisms or discrimination. And the last point for all of you who are watching out this video, who wanted to become like her is for you. So innovation is about doing different things. Yes, we want to do different things as well as doing things very differently. It's not only that we have to do different things along with that, do everything very differently so that it will be noticed by the human. So greater is the obstacle or greater the failure, greater is going to be the glory and greater is going to be the success. Thank you all of you for joining.